Welcome to launch at Red Bull Studio in association with Lacoste. My name is Annie Mack and this show is all about finding 10 of the hottest bands and artists that music industry experts think are going to be making big waves in 2013. Let us welcome to the studio tonight, AME. Amy Cabba moved to London when she was eight years old. She is fierce, she's funny, she's uber creative and super talented. Introducing to you, AME. Hello, AME. Hey. How are you doing? I'm great, thanks. How are you? Welcome to Launch. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about the first part of your life in Sierra Leone. Yeah, I lived there until I was eight. Um, my dad was in a band, so that's wow. where the whole musical thing kind of kicked off. And I remember going on tour with them on their first headline tour. And I was in the audience and I was like, mm, they're good, but I want to be the person, you know, on the stage. I don't want to yeah. really be in the audience anymore. Yeah. Um, so, like, still my uh, dad's, like, um, notepad. Yeah. And, like, um, kind of use his melodies, but try and put my own lyrics to it and, like, switch up his songs a little bit. Um, what did your dad think of all this? He supported it and was really like, yeah, go for it. Um, so when I came over, that's literally what I did. Joined the school choir. I was in a little girl band called Independent Girls at the oh, age of like 12. Love it. How brilliant is that? Um, independent of what? But um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were independent girls. And then I started writing my own tracks, doing my own thing. And then we had like a school talent show. And my musical director invited down one of his mates. He was like, oh, check out, you know, what we've got down in the school. And what was, you, what was your parents. role in the, in, the, in the school talent show? What did you have to do? Um, I just had to perform a track of my own. Oh, wicked. Okay. Yeah, but I was like stripped back and on the stage by myself. So I remember sitting there singing a song like this, <laughs> going, mm. yeah. and um, I was like, I'm not getting this. Like, he's gonna just walk away and be like, no, she was rubbish. Um, but fortunately, called me back, um, did auditions, then um, got management off of that. And then um, got in the studio and just like literally did a few tracks. So music wise, what are you gonna play? The first track um, is my last single called yeah. Play the Game Boy. And, um, the best video. Love that video. <laughs> a K-pop inspired video because yeah. um, I'm like obsessed with Korean pop. Um, and it's just um, me saying, you know, dudes play games and soaking ladies, but just kind of keeping it lighthearted and yeah. keeping it pop and still a bit fun. Talking to the DJ, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, dance all night. You can beat me 
heard about AME about probably 18 months ago now. She's a great little singer, a great little songwriter. For someone so young, I just, I can't wait to see what's in her future. I love her ambition. I think it's amazing. Um, it's kind of a dreamer's ambition as well, which I think makes it so unique. It started here. It's kind of a launch year, and I think she'll look back at 2013 and years to come so that's the year it all started. So how does it feel to have the support, the vocal support of Mr. Gary Barlow? Or Uncle G, as he's known to me. Oh, no! <laughs> that is amazing! Uncle G! Uncle G. Yeah, he's just so good at what he does. Yeah. And he knows music in and out. Um, so for him to kind of, like, listen to my tracks and be like, that's even good, or that's okay, I'm like... <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, it's pretty incredible. The, the other track you're going to do for us is a newer one, right? Yes, Heartless. It's about a breakup, and um, it's kind of saying, don't leave me. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just a little bit more grown up, I think, for me, but still quite pop fun. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank 
Yes, I don't want to be so hard. 